Five breaking news, Nez Nation. Stefanik, the representative of uh, New York's congressional 21st uh, district, Elise Stefanik, hits special counsel Jack Smith with an ethics complaint accusing him of election interference. She is demanding a DOJ probe into the special counselor's conduct. Let's listen in. We are now in week three of Alvin Bragg's witch hunt, the first criminal trial of a former president of the United States. It is crystal clear from the opening arguments and evidence that this extraordinarily weak case is blatant lawfare and election interference during the height of the presidential campaign. While the violent crime crisis rages in New York, Manhattan DA Alvin Bragg brought bogus felony charges against President Trump for the non-felony of booking a 2017 nuisance claim as a legal expense. Under this bogus legal theory, this somehow impacted the election. This theory is so baseless that it was previously passed over by the prior Manhattan DA, the Manhattan U.S. Attorney, the Federal Election Commission, and Alvin Bragg himself. But a top political appointee in the Biden Justice Department was deployed to Bragg's office to go after Joe Biden's top political opponent and the Republican nominee, Donald J. Trump. And the case is in front of the Democrat Judge Juan Merchant, who donated to Biden's campaign and whose daughter is raising tens of millions off this unprecedented case. This is corrupt election interference to its core. Even a former Clinton federal judge said Judge Merchant must recuse. What was Merchant's response? He retaliated against President Trump with an unconstitutional gag order. Last week, the House Judiciary Committee, under the leadership of Chairman Jim Jordan, released a scathing report highlighting Bragg's political investigation and prosecution of President Trump, <laughs> calling it a direct threat to our republic. Democrats' corrupt and desperate witch hunts against President Trump must come to an end. This is lawfare and blatant election interference and the American people know it. That is why today I filed an official complaint with the Department of Justice Office of Professional Responsibility on Joe Biden Special Counsel Jack Smith for his clear and illegal efforts of election interference. We will fight the Democrats' unjust lawfare and expose this corruption, whether it is in New York, Atlanta, or here in Washington, D.C. This is an important responsibility of our oversight. So there you have it. Um, you have um, Representative Stefanik saying that you know i mean i really like her fight if you don't remember who she is she's the same um committee chair uh woman who uh went after uh claudine gay uh and all these university presidents and she's a fighter i, I gotta say I, I really commend her spirit her determination her conviction uh and the fact that she's so honest and she vows to uphold her oath of office so here's her full uh complaint right here i mean this is this is powerful stuff we did a video talking about the mar-a-lago uh you know fbi sent the actual documents before the raid which is uh, a lot of you have commented on this and i've said this myself it's a clear case of entrapment and just further cements mistrust the american people have in this biden administration doj if you have mistrust in this doj or if you actually uh, let's do a quick uh, thing comment below if you trust the doj put trust if you mistrust put a mistrust in the comments down below while I'm reading this uh, letter. So she states here uh, that uh, she's writing to the Office of Professional Responsibility, the United States Department of Justice. I write today to request an ethics investigation of Biden Department uh, Special Counsel Jack Smith for abusing the resources of the federal government to unlawfully interfere with the 2024 presidential election. Jack Smith's multiple attempts to rush to trial the federal January 6th case against Trump violated longstanding explicit Justice Department policy. Further, Jack Smith's repeated violations of the United States District Court for the District of Columbia's stay of proceedings are a lawless breach of trial ethics and lawyerly conduct. Jack Smith's actions brought disrepute to the Justice Department and the federal government as a whole, and he should face disciplinary discipline appropriately. Attempting to expedite trial in violation of DOJ policy. Let's see what this is all about. In June 2023, Biden Special Counsel Jack Smith obtained an indictment against President Donald J. Trump. The indictment charges President Trump with several offenses in relation to the Capitol riot of January 6, 2021. President Trump is now the presumptive Republican nominee for president, having won enough delegates to secure the nomination on March 12, 2024. As we will demonstrate, 
Biden's special counsel, Jack Smith, is attempting to expedite the trial in order to influence the general election in November. There's really no doubt about that. And everything she said about jo uh, Judge Juan uh, Mershon and all the legal experts, all this is not conspiracy. All legal scholars, all legal professors, anybody worth of any legal note have declared that these trials are shams. These trials shouldn't even be brought up. This conduct violates Section 985.500 uh, of DOJ's Justice Management, which Jack Smith is bound. Section 9-85.500 uh, uh, dictate, dictates that federal prosecutors may never select the timing of any action for the purpose of affecting any election or for the purpose of giving an advantage or disadvantage to any candidate or political party. Very true. She's she's using case law. She's using the very evidentiary basis for this letter. Jack Smith first violated this rule when in August 2023, he petitioned the district court for a January 2nd, 2024 trial date. There exists approximately 13 million pages of discovery for President Trump to review, plus thousands of hours of camera footage. Prosecutors bringing a case of this complexity with so many consequential and novel legal issues to sort out would normally never seek to bring it to trial within five months, which is so true. The only reason to push for such an early trial date was to work to get the case tried before the November election, and the Justice Department manual clearly forbids Jack Smith from taking any action on that basis. Biden's special counsel, Jack Smith, next violated this Justice Department provision when he petitioned the Supreme Court of the United States for a writ of seratorari before judgment in, in December. This extraordinary petition sought to bypass the normal appellate process, which involves a decision by a court of appeals panel and possibly review by the en banc court. Jack Smith asserted that it was, quote, imperative, end quote, for the Supreme Court to grant his highly unusual request. But on December 22nd, 2023, the Supreme Court denied Jack Smith's petition. That Jack Smith was solely motivated by the desire to interfere in the November election, and the November election was effectively proven two months later. This is really, really good. Listen to this. In February, President Trump petitioned for Satoriari on the issue of presidential criminal immunity for official acts. Biden's special counsel, Jack Smith, having supported Satoriari just two months earlier, now opposed Satoriari. Jack Smith effectively repudiated his own arguments from two months earlier. This is supposedly the guy who's full of integrity, right? Doesn't seem so. Now, uh, um, with little explanation for his effectively, uh, uh, with little explanation for his about face, other than his naked assertion that the nation has a compelling interest in the prompt resolution of this case. No, the, the left woke mob does. Aside from the upcoming election, what, quote, compelling interest, end quote, does the public have in the prompt resolution of this case? Why should this interest, based on an unstated reason, override the due process rights of a criminal defendant. Moreover, if the case were so important that Jack Smith believed the Supreme Court should take the extraordinary step of granting Satoriari before the Court of Appeals could weigh in, how could he now argue that the case was not important enough for even a normal grant of Satoriari. The only way to reconcile Jack Smith's filings is to recognize that his obvious goal was not to seek justice and the neutral application of the law, but rather to get President Trump and get him before November. Dun, 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 another one. Here's another one. Here's another case of hypocrisy in this nation. Here's another case of corruption. Here's another case of an obvious weaponization of the Department of Justice, which is supposed to be this pristine, um, clean, uh, upright office, and they've completely corrupted it. Smith and his team have claimed that they are not in violation of the Justice Manual because he argues the relevant provision applies only to the timing of the indictment itself and not to cases that are already being litigated. This is an implausible reading. Justice Manual Section 9-85.500 applies to any action by federal prosecutors and agents, including but not limited to investigative steps, criminal charges, or statements. On its face, Section 985.500 also applies to the actions by the special counsel undertaken in the course of prosecuting this case against President Trump, including the attempt to obtain a preposterously early trial date as well as the filing of an extraordinary request for statutory for judgment. Jack Smith has not talked about the election 
in his filings because it is an obviously improper reason to expedite President Trump's trial. Biden special counsel Jack Smith's actions, however, leave no doubt that the election is driving his timing decisions. If you agree with that, give me a capital Y in the comments. I sure do. If you don't, give me a capital N and maybe some reasons as to why. No other plausible reason exists um, for why he is rushing this case against a criminal defendant in a manner inconsistent with the Justice Department's usual practice. Violations of court-ordered stay. Biden special counsel Jack Smith also repeatedly and deliberately violated the district court's stay of proceedings in violation of D.C. Rule of Professional Conduct 3.4C. When President Trump appealed the district uh, uh, court's interlocutory order denying his motion to dismiss, dismiss the case on presidential immunity grounds, the district court issued a stay of proceedings as required by unambiguous Supreme Court precedent. Thus, the district court rightly stayed any further proceedings that would move this case towards trial or impose additional burdens of litigation on defendant. But Jack Smith repeatedly flouted the district court's order. First, Jack Smith served nearly 4,000 pages of discovery on President Trump, which is really insane. You expect a trial to go to court within five months and you're going to drop that many pages of discovery, which essentially means you're giving his defense zero time to construct an ample defense uh, uh, for this trial. Then after the Supreme Court rejected his petition for Satoriari before judgment, Jack Smith filed a motion in Limeine in district court. Jack Smith did so despite representing to the Supreme Court in his uh, Satoriari petition that the case is now on hold in district court. If the special counsel wants to speak out of both sides of his mouth, <laughs> He should face the disciplinary consequences for those misrepresentations. I want to skip to the last couple paragraphs. Jack Smith emphatically said that no one in this country is above the law. If that is true, then he should be open to and welcome an ethics investigation into conduct that on its face implicates potential violations of DOJ policy and multiple rules of professional conduct. So she signs it there at the bottom, sincerely, Elise M. Stefanik. So that is the letter of ethics complaint filed with the DOJ. So what that essentially means, and the reason I wanted to skip to that last paragraph is, this guy has claimed that everything's on the up and up. Jack Smith, the special counsel to the White House, has claimed that everything that he's doing is by the book. Everything he's, he's doing follows the manual, follows protocol, follows the policies, follows case law, and is within the bounds of law in every regard. If that is the case, this ethics complaint and this investigation should be no problem. Right, Jack Smith? This is huge because we're seeing now, finally, some people step up and say, you know what? Enough is enough. We're sick. And this should be Mitch McConnell. Mitch McConnell should be. This should be McCarthy. This should be uh, uh, upheld, and this should be filed by uh, Speaker uh, Johnson. Why? Why? Where are? Where's the Republican leadership? Why are they not fighting for this guy? Kudos to Stefanik. And I got to tell you, what she has shown within the past six months: true grit, determination, intelligence. She's very articulate. She's a fighter. I back her. 100%. I think this is huge. She filed this today, April 30th, 2024. And I really, really hope something comes out of this because all of these cases are a sham. All of these cases should be dismissed. Cash Money G is a hoax. Letitia Big Shame James is a hoax. Judge Juan Don Mershon is a hoax. And this special counsel uh, classified docs case, which we already found out it was complete entrapment. That's a hoax. What else is this other than election interference? I throw this to you, Inez Nation. What do you think? What do you think of all this? They're not talking about this in the mainstream. So tap that thumbs up and share this with everybody. Nobody's talking about this. This is huge. He is being faced with four unbelievable, I mean, it's unreliable, unethical, um, infractions of the law, going above the law, weaponizing the DOJ. They're sham charges. These are sham trials, all of them. This is this is Banana Republic. I want to hear from you. Let me know in the comments uh, down below. As always, it's almost physically impossible for me to respond to all the comments. I try really, really hard. So let me know what you think. 
Members get top priority, super chats and super thanks. I really, really thank you so much. In the pinned comment and in the uh, show notes and description, this is your chance to become a member uh, and support the channel. And you get all sorts of special perks as well as our free newsletter, Nez Nation Insider. That is also in the pinned comment and in the description and show notes. So make sure you do that. Make sure you follow. Make sure you subscribe. Check out these videos right here coming up that we just posted and are relevant to you. As always, God bless you and may God bless America. I'll see you soon.